Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 and today we're going to be talking about my defense, you know, my plans and my goals towards improving my defense on Season 2. And, um, you know, I already came up with some few of them, and a lot of them came from the last game that I played on the playoffs, of course. And uh, it was a major screw-up, and I think it was a major screw-up by me at the same time because... Uh, I believe that I could have gotten these two cornerbacks to prevent those passes, and I know who to get already. So this is what's going to happen on Season 2, guys. I will be replacing my number 1 and my number 2 corners, which is Ike Taylor and Chris Harris Jr. Let me move over here, this guy, and Chris Harris Jr. Now, Chris Harris Jr., what happened to him is that he got burned several times by Larry Fitzgerald, and Ike Taylor pretty much got beaten up on the last play of the drive of the whole game of the previous game that I played. So... What I've noticed is that the guy just lobbed it, and he just caught it. He just caught it with a six foot four receiver, I'm guessing. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I have to recruit Brandon Browner from the New England Patriots, a guy who's six foot four at the cornerback position, and on the other one, I will be replacing Chris Harris Jr. with Sean Smith from the Kansas City Chiefs. I can already afford one of them. It's just that I will be holding it off. For a sign up, you know, I'll do a video about them, about those, those two being signed up, and I'll tell you guys why I'm signing it up on that video too. Uh, even though you already know what, I, what I'm, what I'm going to sign him for, because I already explained to you, to you guys right here. So, anyways, for those of you guys who missed it, you know, who missed the explanation why I'm getting those two, I'll explain it there again. But yeah, uh, the, my cornerbacks are a major concern since that happened, you know, with the lob passes and uh, with Fitz, Fitzgerald and whoever the, uh, number 12 was. Yeah, the cornerbacks will be replaced. Uh, my linebackers are still on the, you know, on the problem side. You know, my AJ Hawk and Jabal Shirt were pretty much getting burned on the left side every time I saw those uh, slants and everything. Ahmad Brooks, I don't know what the hell he was, but he would never throw under Ahmad Brooks. That's what I've been noticing. Uh, whoever played, whoever played the last game, uh, Stevie Brown, uh, Harmon will also be replaced by I don't know who. I'm guessing it's gonna be replaced by. Um, by somebody who has 84 overall, I did spot someone, DJ Swearinger, or another strong safety that I spotted. Uh, I think it's Dante Whitner. Yeah, Dante Whitner, he's an elite player. It's just that he costs 10,000 coins. He's one of the cheapest elite players out there, so I'll show it to you guys right now. So anyways, yeah, the cornerbacks, the linebackers, the two, and the strong safety will be replaced. The defensive linemen, I might replace them later throughout the season, like in week five or week seven, depending on the situation. Um, if I make it to the playoffs, I will replace them right away because I know um, the playoff teams will have superior O-line. Like once I pick up my O-line, that's how my offensive lineman will look against, you know, when they when people play against me because it's going to be very superior. So I need to replace my D-line pretty soon. Probably with Harmon from the Jets and uh, Mercedes, Mar Mercedes Darius. I forgot his freaking name from the Bills. So, yeah, let me show you guys the corners that I will be buying after you know after a while to get my coins so my goal is to recruit sean smith from the chiefs hey <laughs> there's the last thing that i showed you guys i'm gonna recruit the cornerbacks i'm gonna show you guys who's the other guy what do i have going upon here oh defense i said one of them is at the chiefs team god damn it there it is chiefs what? Oh, that's because he's not 85 or, or higher. Where is it? Eddie, 80, and 84. There he is. By now, price. And he's for 5,000. I pretty much saw him earlier for 3,000. I have to wait like during the day for him to be cheaper. So there he is. Um, he doesn't have a lot of speed, but he does have a lot of acceleration. And he has height. I mean, look at that. 6 foot 3 at the cornerback position. Damn, this guy's going to be beast. Uh, that's the only thing. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be saying that, well, he's freakishly slow, you know, what are you going to do with man coverage? I ne I've never used man coverage, guys. If you guys notice, in my games, I've been using not man coverage. I'm not going to say which one I'm using. But, yeah, I never put my cornerbacks into man coverage, and I let him fall back, and that's it. I just want him to cut off the top part. That's not all I've been doing, and uh, that's why I get a lot of passes being thrown under. So, yeah, Sean Smith is going to be picked up. What the fuck was the team? <laughs> Sean Smith is going to be picked up, and the cornerback from the New England Patriots will be picked up. Brandon Browner, there he is. At the height of 6'4", yes, the speed is also low. The acceleration is also low, but the height is just amazing. This is going to prevent us from being scored on like last time that we played on the playoff games, you know. 
this guy could have intercepted the ball if I would have had him at that point. I knew it one day. I was like, I should I get Brandon Brunner, you know, also because I know I've been playing zone a lot of times and already gave up my defense. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, now you guys already know it's not a big deal. Anyways, nobody knows how to use it. Um, Brandon Browner, you know, is, is always going to be up there and, you know, it's going to prevent those deep passes, which is going to be good. So, yeah, that's why I want to pick up Sean, Sean Smith and Brandon Browner, just to prevent the deeps. I don't want nothing to, to go on deep. I want everybody to just throw under and get messed up by Amon Brooks and whoever's my other two linebackers. I wanted to get hurt. That's the thing. I want to, I want to force fumbles. So it's going to be kind of a heavy defense this year, guys. No speedsters, heavy heading, heavy hitting defense whatever <laughs> I'm kind of sleepy anyways I just came out of work and pretty much I'm doing this a strong safety we're gonna be having Swearinger from the Texans being recruited maybe there he is that's another guy who's gonna be recruited so anyways um yeah that's pretty much it guys my plans on defense I'm gonna be replacing both of my corners for taller corners so we can prevent the deep since most of my time you know the cornerbacks are dropping deep in the zone coverage so um so yeah that's it guys if you guys like my plans or like my goals please let me know in the comment section and tell me who to recruit maybe i can follow your recruitment uh, recruitment uh you know scouting instead so yeah so that's it for now guys subscribe for more man ultimate team